This is a review of the brand new Move Shoot Move tracker called the Nomad. Big thank you to Move Shoot Move for sending me this tracker to review. This will be an impartial look at the new unit. I've used lots of different star trackers over the years, starting with the barn door tracker that I built myself. It worked fine, but it was very cumbersome, especially if I wanted to travel to dark skies on a plane. The next unit I bought was the Astro Track. I saw it demoed in AstroFest many years ago and immediately knew this was a fantastic solution for accurate tracking for long exposure Milky Way shots with a unit that was easy to transport. Moving on from the Astro Track. I started looking out for something that was a lot more compact, wouldn't take up much space in my camera bag, especially if I wanted to put everything into the cabin bag. I stumbled across the Move Shoot Move Facebook page and I was immediately blown away at how compact the unit was. Looks quite similar to the Polari, but a very different price point. So I was a little skeptical at just how good a tracker this was, but having seen the results on the Facebook page by many different astrophotographers, I just instantly knew you can't achieve those kind of results with shoddy gear. So I'm excited to try out the new Nomad Tracker and also the VNZ pan and tilt mounting brackets they sent with the unit, designed by the super talented astrophotographer Alan Wallace. More on these later. So your basic setup should look something like this, where the Nomad is attached to an altitude arm or ball head. Any type will work as long as it has an Arco Swiss attachment at the top. Then you have your ball head attached to the Nomad unit itself. Just screw off the ring for access to it and position your camera in the direction of the area of interest you're shooting. My first impressions are is that it's incredibly compact. The unit itself is very small and lightweight, weighs approximately a pound. The material is CNC machined anodized aluminium. I really like the new laser pointer that screws directly into the unit. This makes it super easy to polar align and very accurate alignment can be done in seconds. The operation of the unit couldn't be simpler. Click the orange sliding button left for southern hemisphere, middle for off and right for northern hemisphere. I like this minimalistic approach to design that removes some functionality to improve usability. Charging is via the C port adapter underneath the button. And in my testing, I got approximately five hours on a full charge. So I'm gonna wait until it gets dark and I can see the pole star, give it a quick polar alignment, slap on my camera, take a couple of shots and see what we get. I want to quickly show you the V and Z star tracker platforms and how you can use these to create a better center of gravity for your camera setup. These little guys have quickly become one of my favorite pieces of travel kit because they're so small, so sturdy and so versatile. They've completely replaced the Manfrotto geared head that I normally use when I'm traveling, which is great because it's cut down on the weight uh, in my camera bag. And as you can see here, you can set up your camera so that the center of gravity is directly over the rotator, which will reduce any strain. The locking levers are really easy to use and lock quite tightly. I've had quite a lot of weight on these and it simply just does not shift. They also have a spring system so you can rotate the lever arm around to avoid any gear clash. So I'd highly recommend bagging a pair of these and throwing it in your travel kit. Now you may be wondering while you're watching this why I have attached my Nomad tracker onto my Skywatcher AZ GTI tracker. And the reason is, is that I have a bad back at the moment and I can't bend down to see the laser pointer very well. So I decided I'd attach it to this unit, which allowed me to be able to freely move the tracker in altitude and azimuth without bending down. So the Nomad is also available to purchase from Move Shoot Move with a polar scope, because if you want to do some narrow field photography, then you're going to need better polar alignment. But for wide field Milky Way panoramic shots, the laser pointer will be just fine. 
Unfortunately, tonight the weather isn't playing ball. I knew it was 50-50 before I left, but I was hoping that there would be some clear patches. There hasn't been enough for me to be able to get a proper polar alignment. I've had it roughly polar aligned and taken some test shots. And for the most part, everything seems to be pretty good. But within a couple of minutes, the weather had turned so bad, I had no other option but to break down the gear, throw it into the back of the car, say goodbye to the mountain goats and try again another night. I had to wait another week for clear skies to try out the Nomad. And I have to say, I'm really pleased at how well this unit is working. I've been able to arrive at a location, set up and be shooting within a matter of minutes. I'm getting two minutes tracking with just rough polar alignment and zero star trails, which is absolutely fantastic. I was even able to pick up my whole camera and tripod setup and walk to a new location and be polar aligned again in seconds. Something I would have never have dreamed of doing before because I didn't want to polar align a second time. And as you can see, the tracking is really amazing for a laser pointer. This is a 24 mm lens at f4.5 at ISO 6400 for 76 seconds. And zooming in, you can see no discernible trailing whatsoever, which is really astonishing. So in conclusion, after a few weeks of use, the Nomad is a very capable portable star tracker that's perfect for wide field panoramic shots and holds its own for deeper work also.